as Quest crew, you know, some of the crews that have uh, won, or even not have won, but have done very well, don't seem as busy as you guys. Obviously, Jabberwockies, because they're about to do a big old, you know, thing. But what do you think it is about Quest crew that keeps you guys so busy and constantly? Because every time we see you, it's like, oh, we just came back from Hawaii or this place. That's a good question. Um, I think it's honestly, it's the people watching. You know, if it wasn't for the people that support us and and actually like watching us dance or sing or whatever, then we wouldn't be able to do any of this. So it's, it's clearly just the people that support us, like 100%. Yeah. yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> I, I know. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just it's so poetic. <laughs> I mean, it's true, you know. We got to give thanks to where it's due, you know. I mean, there would be no performances if there was no audience, you know. Right. So, yeah, we, it's, like a, uh, it's like a conversation between two, two parts. Right, I like that. Well, I mean, also, are you performing with AJ Raphael today, or is um, it I'm like a... doing a solo uh, okay. thing. We were, we talked about doing something together, but uh, we uh, we should we have before actually. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just I haven't had time to, to meet up. You know, I, I literally came straight yeah. here from from LAX and mm -hmm. didn't even make my uh, sound check. But uh, shout out to AJ too. Andrew Garcia is actually coming today. So ah, ah amazing singer. Yeah, but that was my bad. Yeah. Singing, but. Oh, it was good. It was good. Ooh. <laughs> so, okay. I know. I never come up with. No, no, no. I never come up with these random questions, but the fans do. And somebody asked me to ask you. Okay. Wow. All right. Somebody <laughs> asked me to ask you how it feels because you you guys aren't like. I don't even know how to say this. This was from somebody else. So Literally if you don't like this racist. question, blame someone else. They said, how do you feel you and Lizzie used to be the power, like, Asian and white couple, and now it's Dumbo and his girlfriend. So how do you feel <laughs> being, like, second now? Uh, I never really... Somebody asked me that. Second? Um, That's weird. When it was funny, we are actually in a crew. Uh, it's me, Ryan, and Dumbo. It's called ADBC, and it's Asian dudes with blonde chicks. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like... Oh, I, how the question got asked is because they thought Dumbo's girlfriend, um, somebody was thought Dumbo's girlfriend was Lizzie. No. Oh. No, wait, you really have A, B, D, A, D, B, C. A, that's well, it started more of a joke because uh, when Ryan ha started dating a blonde girl, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. And I'm like, A, D, B, A, D, B, C. <laughs> and then uh, it's not like a real crew. It's more like. No, but you know, like little, little. You guys are like, triple dates, group. triple dates. Facebook yeah. group, and no, I'm just kidding. Well, Dumbo's too young to go to bars, so. Oh, <laughs> oh he's 21 now. He turned 21. Yeah. He just turned 21. He had his birthday party at level three. Yeah, yeah happy birthday. Oh. But to answer your question, uh, it doesn't really come across my mind, or it doesn't bother me, or it doesn't uh, really uh, affect me in any way that someone thinks that. Because, I mean, I'm in love with my girlfriend, and that's all that matters, period. So, uh, you know, what other other person's point of view about being the, the spotlight couple, like, that really has no bearing on the relationship, which is what's important. Yeah. Most stuff. And how we, obviously, we snuck up on you, like, practicing for this. How is it different? How do you mentally get, diff like, prepared different for a dance competition and then for a singing competition? See, like, let's say a battle, like a Urban Street Jam, for example. Yeah. Um, I... I, I, much, I very much think that performance or battling or competing or anything is very much mental as it is um, what you actually do on stage and I think the preparation you do is is extremely important like so for example Mike and I we trained like um, for a couple weeks together you know like uh, getting each other's chemistry and you know um, getting on the same page mentally but um, for a music one like right now I have a I have about an hour so um, yeah, I'm just constantly just rehearsing the songs, um, going through in my head like how I would like to see um, the show go. So it's it's very like pictured in my mind and like rehearse it so that when it actually happens, it's like one of the many times that I've done it in my head. So so yeah, and of course you know I in the on the way here I uh, did my vocal exercises and and all that, but kind of the same thing really. It's like preparing yourself mentally. I think a lot of it's mental, you know. How do you choose like what songs to incorporate into your act? I mean, is it just like the ones that are hot right now, or like the ones that you really uh, well, are into? The I'm doing three different songs. Well, like the first one's a medley. It's a uh, kind of like a reggae like, and uh, that one's just kind of a kind of a feel good one that I because I, I mean like 
especially with the economy these days, it's like who doesn't want to just feel happy, you know? Yeah. Just yeah. so like, so the, that's the, kind of the first one, and um, the second one is Santeria that I'm doing. Nice. Oh, I love that song. See, I mean, like, it's just yeah. a good song, yeah. you know, like just quality music. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Hey Soul Sister, and that's gonna be for Lizzie. And so it's her birthday tomorrow, actually. Oh. Happy birthday, Lizzie. And Happy uh, early birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna dedicate it to her um, as my, my last song. So it's her birthday, what did you get her? You know, I actually, um, I got her a few things. I got her, um, I got her this little, I got her this Tinkerbell purse, and I got her a, a wallet. I got her these little dolls. And actually, uh, I painted her this picture of Tinkerbell which, uh, which I'm actually very happy about how it turned out. And I made this video. Um, it's like a montage of like our Hawaii trip and I kind of recorded some, some uh, music over it. And yeah, I spent like probably like over 10 hours just kind of putting it all together. So I'm actually gonna post it too. So if you guys Yay. wanna check it out. Yeah. Oh. We'll put a little link and um, that's what you gotta do guys for your girlfriend. Yeah. You gotta make something, right? Girls like I that. agree, no, please, I mean, it comes from the heart. Well, I mean, it's also cause like, uh, I, you know, I've gotten her the Tiffany's bracelet and the necklace, and you know, I just took her out to Hawaii. So it's like, I think to keep it fresh, it's kind of like, okay, I'll do something that's more uh, meaningful in the time put behind it, and using kind of the things, uh, you know, like painting a picture or something that she can see every day and be like, wow, you know, he took the time to do that. Exactly. And, and you know, the video is something that like she can watch whenever. And it's like, um, you know, kind of just. Keeping it fresh. And yeah. it's a VK original. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. The song's actually Hey Soul Sister. But, but no, <laughs> the, but I'm no, the, the, the montage. picture, oh, the montage. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, I you like that. That, that has a store. ring to it, a VK original. Oh, oh. I need to just write the originals now. <laughs> this is what I go. Exactly. All right, well, thank you so much. We know you got to get mentally back to it, yeah, but always. thank you for always talking to us. And the Pac Rim fans love you and Quest, so they always are happy. Thank you guys. I mean, we wouldn't be anything without you, so. You know, keep on. Uh, I don't supporting. know. Supporting. Supporting. If, if you guys, if we, uh, if we deserve your support, then keep on giving it to us. And thank you guys. There we go. All right, and we got to become BFFFs with Victor because when it's our birthday, we'll get some cool stuff. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's May 26. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Because he did that. I don't want a performance. I want a Tiffany's necklace. <laughs> Do they even make men's stuff? I don't even know what Tiffany's is, but props to Tiffany. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you so much, Victor. Cool, thank you, thank you guys. See you guys. Right, bye, See take you guys care. Yeah, we're gonna be watching, so we're excited yeah. for the performance. For show. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yukalili.